No working. Oh god, I already feel like I sound awful. Uh, function, please. Game showing. There it goes. Okay. Currently dealing with a lot of congestion, so. And my throat's a little sore, but it also is kind of manageable. It might be much worse after doing this, but we'll see. No, I don't want to do anything with the bell. I want to walk forward. I think I'm supposed to be speaking with a queen fairy person, so probably up here. Very neat elevator system going on so far. Wait. <gasps> um, you're a lot bigger than like every other fairy. Your Highness, welcome to the village of the fairies, human. As always, we appreciate the aid of the Kohonese for your efforts. The fairies thank you deeply. I did no more than my duty, your highness. I am very sorry for your people's losses. Uh, the matriarch of Koho put me on a mission to investigate the bell toll. We know the black bell of the fairies has been stolen. It could be that its tolls are causing the demon apparitions. The black bell is not inherently an object of malice. It is a special artifact created in ancient times, however, we would never craft something to bring forth demons to our lands. Our bell serves two purposes, to offer protection and to transmit the ringer's feelings to the celestial gods. The black bell is great at following these principles specifically to communicate with the two deities of creation. Lineth, the golden moon goddess of birth, and Saline, the dark moon god of rebirth. We say all life is born of the moon. The Black Bell's purpose was to be part of the ceremony to sing our praises and thank for the for being given life. So what could explain the sudden attack of demons in our villages? Despite their relationship as siblings, Lyneth and Selene had developed a deep hatred of each other. Uh, the recent toll brought forth their awakening. As it stands, they wish for nothing but the death of each other, and their might is one capable of setting the world in ruins. It is no surprise that one of them would beckon demon forces to accomplish that. Zeming finding the Black Bell at this point would not solve anything. Should we change our strategy? The Black Bell must be recovered, if anything, to prevent a repeat of the situation. It was indirectly the cause for the chaos in our lands. But we must also focus on preventing the clash between Lineth and Saline. Salen. Something tells me you have already crossed paths with one of them. There's a peculiar feline scent around you. <sighs> Are you have you perhaps met a black cat? Yeah, I remember that one. Uh, I did encounter a strange black cat, though it was some sort of grimalkin witch, though. The one you met was most likely the moon goddess Lineth. That was a goddess? <laughs> I thought it would just be, like, someone working for the gods. Uh, she controls the golden light of the moon and its shadowy darkness. It's a miracle you were able to survive an encounter with her. The moon goddess. My people worship her. Not supposed to do her harm. <laughs> yeah, we beat her up. Oh, uh, what should I do? <laughs> Let's focus on the issue with the black bell first, then we can take the next step. Well, that's kind of wild. Uh, we believe the thief was a demon who made off, made the demon frontier their lair deep below. Go and retrieve the black bell from their lands, and if possible, find out the location of the moon gods. 
Yeah, I can feel it in my throat. <laughs> Understood, I'll do my best. One last thing, here's a gift from us to help you in your travels. It's a spiral shell. It's blessing won't allow you to scale heights with ease. Thank you, your highness. I hope you'll help me do Okay. Is this gonna give me like a... The sacred object in your possession, you're able to form wall jump with jumping toward a wall and pressing. Okay. How about I just do this? Hit the bell. I still don't entirely like that it jumps like the HUD moves. I wonder if that's a setting I can change though. I know there's like removing the HUD. Uh, HUD on. Okay, that seems to be the only visual thing that I have. Okay. How deep does this go? Oh, you go it's pretty deep, pal. What's down here, though? I hope I don't have to just backtrack all the way up those elevators. Oh, it's just a fishing spot. Oh wait, I see the flower. It kind of blends in a little bit with the background. Okay. Oh, thank God for Waldo. I can just do this instead. <laughs> Instead of waiting for the stupid elevators to come back. Ah! No! Okay. Save again after getting that upgrade. So, I need to go Demon Frontiers, supposedly the next path, but honestly it doesn't seem like there's much left in the fairy village. If I go across here, there's stuff down as well as some crystal marks along the way that I could grab and potentially backtrack over here a bit. has a question mark but like for what and where and how and why ow 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 it's cheating such a bad position. Okay. Like... Ah! Oh, the little 
one monkey. There, okay, the question mark. And... Okay, get away. Yeah, goodbye. Okay, so what's... I'm like... Oh, you're over here. There's a question mark. There's a freaking bell and... Another power-up. I could have just walked over this way. <laughs> Why did I not? Oh my god. Granted, maybe there wasn't... Maybe they weren't at least here before, but still... Ah, okay. Uh, we made it here, the land of the fairies. Mm, hello to you too, Meliot. Uh, by now I'm pretty used to you crossing our path. You are almost the third member of our group. If you say so, what's this place? I believe it's a graveyard. Fairies can live up to hundreds of years. A lucky one can even eventually grow to become a queen. Oh, okay, so... I'm thinking like a beehive, usually the queen bee is usually the larger of the group. Oops, so little tiny fairies, some grow into the size of giants, basically, <laughs> compared to them. Um, which can live up to a thousand years. But they are not immortal beings. I see. Have you come across any fairies? No, they must be further ahead, safe in their village, concealed from danger. But I'm very curious to meet one person. In my homeland, there are too many stories about fairies to scare their children into doing duties. Things such as mischievous fairies come to take you you to the forest if you stay awake too late. Surely those are only stories, right? I must find out for science. Okay, you got more. The writing in the stone is the oldest I've encountered thus far. I'm surprised you can even read it. Uh, I've learned the meaning of these symbols a few years ago. It wasn't so hard. Here it says something about looking into a sacred figure. Really? Without more context, I'm afraid I can't understand the message's intentions. It is writing from a past era, after all. What do you mean? Uh, Karstian scholars considered our world's history to be divided in eras. To put things in a perspective, we are some 500 or so years into the aptly named modern era. Previously, our world went through a time of greater chaos and terror. Despite the adversities, we've had the birth of people such as yours and mine. But even further in time before all of this is what we call the ancient era. That's when this writing was made. We are talking thousands of years ago. The world was completely different back then. Okay annoyed myself about that one bell, but otherwise it's manageable. Okay, go down. It should be actually up another bell and Cereza again. me little jerks okay I 
Okay, doesn't seem like much here besides the exit. Back to crabs are. Okay. Getting down. I'm getting out. I'm going across. Oh, berry. Uh, from more obtain, you can now obtain one more. Attune one more sigil. Okay, so now I can have three equipped. Which ones do I even have on right now? I have shield. Okay, that's the barrier thing. Oh, I have the strength thing. Um. And my range thing. I seems like even without that sigil equipped, there is a increased damage for like your full stamina version of an arrow so it doesn't entirely seem worth equipping that one the range one i do find helpful though and just hey when enemies line up it's good to have i'll use that and then inspect go over again oh that's like in pocket that connects directly with the area below this Most of the question marks in this area dealt with. Uh, could just go across, go down, and start heading, maybe check out a few of these ones along the way back. Oh, that one! Oh, I forgot about you. Oh, this might be. Ow! How do I take care of that shit in front of it? There we go. There it is. Now it's free. first to get that little pocket. In theory, if I can actually complete it is another story, but check out the little pocket before I Ah, yes, I should be able to. I'm realizing I probably could have before now too, because I didn't realize these geysers were lips. So that kind of cleaned out that entire area. Maybe? Ow. 
I'm not against it if they're also updating the uh, updating old areas. Updating. <laughs> Good lord. Like the not just having, hey, you gain access to new things as you progress, but also, hey, new things have now started to impede your path. supposed to go anywhere now I'm confused I was trying to make my way through to get to guys were sturdier than I thought. What? I hit that bell, right? Yeah, okay. Okay, so I can go down and over and potentially still make it. For a good while. I'm gonna wait till the curse subsides. so sturdy. I got like two power upgrades since I dealt with a boss last time. How are you all so sturdy? Oh, great. Thanks. You too. Uh. 
It must have been like a berry or something there. Shut up. Uh, you don't have a red bubble, so I'm assuming. Uh, Momo, something is wrong with the laundry. Could have been the health is worsening. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, that's not necessarily about the fact that there are these stupid bubbles blocking me. It's like forcing the path I need to take. Ah, hi, dude. The little mini fight I just had was more egregiously annoying than that. Okay. Probably it doesn't make me go all the way down and around, but... Didn't realize I didn't get you, tiny one. It looks like... Okay, they added the big dude. Into the room. Because you were not here before. Makes me think you don't want me to go this way. Or slash want me to go this way. But are putting more things in the way of me doing that. Can I just get over? Be real nice. Oh, well. Sucks for you, I have a wall jump. Filthy humans stay away. I have... I need to... What do you want? Get lost. Please, I am not your enemy. My name is Momo. I'm a priestess from the village of Koho on the surface. I don't care who you are or where you came from. There are more important matters at hand, like the Lund Tree's worsening health. Are you a Koho and you're supposed to protect the tree from harm? Yes, that is our duty, and we are doing our best to uphold it. Please believe me when I say the one tree means a lot to us. I don't need to believe a word you say when it's clear I'm doing a much better job about protecting the tree on my own. You mean the bubbles around here? They are your doing? It's my Aquamancy incantation extraordinarily superior to anything you could conjure. My bubbles will stop the demons from reaching more parts of the Lund Tree. I appreciate the effort, but the bubbles are getting in the way of me and other priestesses. We, too, are trying to protect the Lund Tree and resolve the situation. May I ask you to remove your spell for a brief moment so I can move around more freely? How can I trust your words? The pain my people lived through, the destruction of our land, it was all caused by the hands of humans. Those humans from Kars to enslave the fish folk long ago. I'm sorry you and your people have been through such a horrible story. Those were dark times. I cannot speak for the nation of Kars, but we Kohonis preach peace in the union of people. And I understand you don't trust me, but hear me out. I need your cooperation here. Please trust me. You and I share the same goal. Perhaps just this once. Thank you. Be quick before I change my mind. Waste too much time in the tree will die. I hope that's not like an actual plot point. I know. The game is keeping like a time tracker. 
but I hope it's not, hey, you need to beat it within X number of hours to get a good ending. The tree has you chosen you as her protectors. I will be on my way. I wouldn't think so, but... This place got darker also from what I last remember too. Like I always set foot in it once. Companion floating skull. Let me go with a brave. Ah, uh, companions. Okay. I am still leaning on extra heal heals on occasion. Seems. Continues to be my preference. Okay. Kind of just a slowing. Hit that first. Hello, kitty. Whoa, such a large cat. Meow. Hello, human. What can I do for you? Um, you must be a Grimlikin, correct? Meow. Um, yes, yes. Call me Michi. I'm a retainer of Lady Yuhia from the great village of Mekon. Mekon, Lady Yuhia. Sorry, I've never been there. Lady Yuhia is the chief of our village. A horrible tragedy has fallen upon our people. Aimless made their way in and destroyed everything. That's not good. You mean to tell me people in Mekon? Uh, we were unable to stop the enemy's advance. Our blades, the best in the land, can only do so much. Many of us are gone, murdered by mindless beasts. I'm among the survivors, and my master, Lady Yuhia, I'm sure she has a plan. A plan to bring peace to our village. We stand together on this, Michi. Uh... My name is Moho, I'm from Koho. Uh, please need to hear that. Perhaps I can do something for you. I'm able to provide a type of transportation service. You may select an area of retreat and I will take you there. There is no cost associated with this. Please let me know if you are interested. Oh, okay. I also like that it shows on the map. I now have a fast travel, seemingly. So hopefully... This will show up at all my bells. 